Hey guys, so it's sitting on its gear all by itself. That is awesome, we're getting so close. Today is gonna be a real fun day. I've got wing tips to do, I've got fuel tank sight gauges to do, and pretty much just button it all up and it's about ready to go fly. Now before I start working on this, I wanna give a huge thank you to you guys, all my current subscribers. Uh, you guys rock. You know, I don't make any money on these videos, but when you subscribe to the channel, it gives me a huge boost of confidence and I love it. So keep it up guys. And for those of you that are watching the video and not subscribing, just remember, you're always welcome to subscribe to this channel. Uh, it not only helps me, but it also helps other people find the video a little bit easier, people who might actually need it. So with that being said, I'm gonna get back to work. Thank you. Come to my channel. Around here, you want something, you gotta build it. Follow along. Okay guys, so I just got done making this. Uh, all this does is cover this hole. It's uh, leftover wingtip material. So for my fuel line, I use this stuff, which is SAE J30R9. It's got a nice little blue liner up inside. Stuff's supposed to last a lot of years. It's uh, made for fuel injection, ethanol, the whole works. Uh, for the sight tubes, obviously, <clears throat> just uses clear Tigon stuff. And as I'm filling it up, I'll take and mark this, how many gallons I'm putting in it at the same time. And we'll show you the inside. Everything is really dirty. <laughs> So that's what it should look like when it's all installed. So if you're gonna try to convert an early model kit box to the updated wing, you're gonna find you need different flap rounds. Everything is different. The, on the older wing, flap round is set about two inches further back than the new one. So therefore your turtle deck will no longer work. Well, I didn't want to make a whole new turtle deck. So what I did is cut the sides off and then I just put a new side, riveted it here underneath this, since this all had to be moved anyway. So now what I'm left with is new sides, but I need to figure out where the flap round comes through. So to do that, I didn't want to take a chance of messing this up. So I take and use poster board. This is the exact shape of that side. So to figure this out, you gotta first hold it up where it hits the rear spar. And as you're dropping it down, you get these two points. And the next one's just kind of a guess. That's about where it will sit. Now you got your top point. This is what we're left with. This is the notch we gotta make. So I'll get that cut, we'll fit it. And then when these cam locks go through, we'll punch those holes, we'll lay this on the turtle deck. It should be exactly the spot that we need. Okay. So I got it taped on, the cam locks match. Anytime you're drilling through aluminum like this, you wanna clamp some sort of wood backer to it. We'll drill it and we'll see what happens. This is always kind of nerve wracking. If you screw it up, you gotta start over. So 
I bought this nice little sander here for the drill. I'm gonna go in and clean up all these corners. Okay, so that's pretty close. It needs a little bit of touch up yet, but after it's installed, we'll fit it and then we'll do some clean up in the areas that we have to. So I'll make a piece of poster board for the other side. We'll do the same thing and we'll see if it fits. Okay, it fits. I think I need to do a little bit of trimming. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but it lines up. Looks like all my cam locks are gonna line up. So, on to the next thing. Moving on to wingtips and lighting. This is kind of where I want my light to be. Uh, I got the center hole drilled, the outside holes drilled. I want it here because there's nothing behind it in the wing. That way I can attach the light to the wing tip only. So if I got to get in here for maintenance, pull the screws, flip the whole works up, light stays attached, so I don't have to redo any wiring. So that's what I'm working on. So I don't know what you guys use for crimps, but I've had really good luck with these little red ones. Crimp them on and then take the heat gun to them and it shrinks them down. Seem to work well for me for this type of stuff. I actually tie the orange and the red wire together at your nav light and your strobes. I always keep them on at the same time anyway, so we'll skirt on. There. So I gotta keep easy access into this wing because the electrical part that drives my compass is mounted right about here. Since these wings have one degree to heater all, I mounted the plate actually opposite of that and for the twist and incidence of the wing mounted the plate opposite of that as well so when this thing is in level flight the compass is driving straight forward so there we go wing tips are done my next step is i gotta go see what kind of price they're gonna gouge me with on 10 or 12 gallons of av gas and then i'll put it in here one gallon at a time and as it's going up, I'll mark my sight gauges. Holy crap, $74 to fill these. Auto fuel in this thing. Not that that's much cheaper. Okay, first gallon. Let's hope we don't have any leaks. I have air tested the whole system, but anybody that's done this kind of work knows that a liquid will go through a hole that air will not. So we'll fill it up, see what happens. Okay, now it is the moment of truth. Did I gain weight or did I lose weight? Before I tore it all apart, I threw it on the scales. Right here it is. My left front tire was 279. My right tire was 274. The tail wheel was 68. Now I have written on here, no turtle deck on plane. Well, I got the turtle deck on. I don't feel like taking it off, so. This is gonna be close. I'll do a final weight and balance before I actually go fly and get real numbers too, but. So, let's go to the tail. Let's see what that says. Okay, we're on zero. All right, the old one, 68 pounds, I'm reading 67.8. Can you see that? So that's awesome, we're on the right track. I hope we lost weight with these wings, but I really doubt it because almost never do you upgrade your airplane and lose weight at the same time. All right, we'll go check the front. Both scales are on zero, pull it on.
Okay, so we had 274 for this side. Right now, it's reading 279, 280. Pretty much holding steady at 280. So that means this side went up. This side, reading 277. And on the paper, I got 279. So that side went down a little bit. And this side went up. So, total those up. Alright, 280. It's still between, it's about right on 277. Tail is 68. Okay. So that's a total weight of 625. Before, a 621. So I did go up a couple pounds, but if it all works out for me, uh, hoping that it's well worth it. I know somebody out there is going to think, holy crap, 625 pounds is a lot for a small airplane like this. It is, but when I built this airplane, I built it very strong, very heavy. This would be comparable to a Model 4 1200, the way it's built with all the tubing in it and reinforcements. So when you take that into consideration, that's not a bad number. There we go. It's all put back together. So, yes, I did gain a few extra pounds, but I do hope it's worth it with this wing. I think it will be. Anyway, guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Thanks.